gosh. Let's get the good guy out of here, buddy. Good job. Very good. Let's go get our mountain work. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, Cash. All right. Here. Excellent. Good boy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Here. Good. Excellent. Look up. Excellent. Look up. Excellent. Good. Good boy. Oh boy. I think we're good enough. Seems good enough. You had too wild of a pony anyway, so we're good. Huh? It's a good boy. Excellent cash. Reed got stuck. That's not comfortable. Is it? Excellent. Good boy. <sighs> Very good boy. Hmm? All right. Follow us today, Cash? I think so. Oh, never know. Never know with Tebow. He's a very complicated sort. Alright, we're gonna use to Pivo to watch. Like that. There we go. So now I'm asking for the horse to do a little bit of a shoulder four, flexion to the inside. Like that. In a small circle. And I'm going to expand it to the rail, push the hip under, release the inside ring, and let him go straight. Good boy. So the horse gets used to these things, gently. Yes. For a young horse to stay on a small old day like that, it's a lot. Too long. Have my rail set up. Excellent, excellent. So his haunches are in very nicely. He really quickly learns because of all his groundwork and in handwork. Ah, uh, it's a bit wrong in the neck there, buddy. Let's get that right there. Let's try it again. Excellent, like that, like that. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Like that. That's right. A little bit to the inside. That's right. That's right. Back. Good. A little bit to the inside. Push the hip. Under a little bit. So just the shoulder force. Like that. There. Like that. There you go. That's it. Don't lose your haunches. Excellent. Excellent. Like that. Excellent. It's a relatively uncomplicated fellow. Just needs muscles to be built. Which is really nice. Excellent. Right. Excellent. 
good boy. And so I'm gonna unlock your hip. I like that, I like that. And forward. Good. With a green horse, I'm not so focused about the direction of his bend as I am his haunches opening up and not leaning on my hands and learning not to be turned around by the rain, but by my leg and body and weight. So I let him know that it's not the hands that are cueing. Excellent. Good boy. Another little turn on the haunch. Let's see how that works. Uh, so the whips that he had as a training when he was in halter and then on the lunge line have really helped to make something like this possible. Because right? the horse knows that if I position the whip in a particular way, he has to move away from it. So I can support that with my leg and then release the horse forward so it's not off the reins. And then I want to keep the horse under a little more. So for the young horse, we don't want to be too complicated. That's it, like that. Slow it down. There. Smart. So instead of falling that time, he took a better step. There. Now he's thinking. And the whip showed him. And the hind leg has to keep coming. Ah, good. That's it. And that time, a little jingle of the rain. And release. There you go. Very good. Try these in the other direction. Very good. It's good for the horse to start on the right. And then we'll go to the left. So the same thing, we'll start in a small circle. Shoulder four, shoulder in flexions to ride around the camera once so he gets that hind leg engaged and he doesn't think to bury in the bridle Perfect. so you can see in this direction we have a harder time with that there ah 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 like that straighten it up straighten it up there you go straighten it up like that like that like that now you're between my legs ah stay straight like that uh -huh. Excellent. Releases are super, super important on a young horse. Good. Good. So they feel they can stretch forward and find the contact forward and not find it backwards, especially this guy. Excellent. He likes to kind of duck behind the bit a bit because he's young, he's green, he's normal. Excellent. So now we teach him to release from the base of the neck forward, but not drop the neck to drop the weight into the shoulders. So we don't want to have him tip down. He's not got strong enough haunches for that to carry his nose below the point of the shoulder. Oh, right there. That's it, right there. Put my weight in the outside so he finds it like that. Ooh, that shoulder too much. Much, much like that like that there we go we found the timing there good learning together to be a team it takes a bit we've not had that many rides at this point together like that like that like that like that like that there you go up 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 Break down just because you're fine. It's not the time to quit. Excellent. That's it. And back. Oh, no. I'm not dropping off the haunch. Excellent. Excellent. So I really have to focus on his left hind when he's going left to make sure it's coming where it belongs. So the same exercise we did before. First around the shoulder. Excellent. Like that. Just like that. There. That's good for opening the hips. That's it. Uh, let's see. The hip is not where it belongs right there. 
So this is really good because it pushes the left hip under. And there you go. And then forward. Good. This gets very noodly, so it's really careful with the reins so that you don't have too much noodle. Ah, ah. It gets more off the leg there. There. Excellent. Until I feel like I have better communication, I haven't put my spurs on. Brendan did, but I don't feel I'm ready for that. I don't want to make a fatal error. Hey, I'm out of shape. Too many months out of the saddle. Good. And B, we don't know how to talk yet. He's green. Nice, nice. And as a green horse, he could make a mistake, and it's not a big fatal error if we don't have a spur on, but it can become one. Excellent. Like that, stay forward, stay forward. Like that, stay forward. Like that. Excellent. Very nice. There we go. Excellent. Oh, stay forward, stay forward. Like that. There. Now he's finding it. Don't want to turn on the haunch to be off the reins. Want it to be on the butt. But pushing forward. Like that. Like that. Like that. There. Excellent. That's so nice. What a good boy. Huh? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So I love to test on a long rein that I have gears and ho. Oh, and the horse is learning more from my seat than my hand. Which is the game plan. I can get balance here. Uh, stiff to the rib cage yeah. Stiff in that rib cage, that's okay. Take it back. So this way I can keep the hip where I want it, and my leg is working on the rib cage, and the hands are not so much in the picture, huh? Good. I like that. That's that. So they're not so confusing for the horse. And I need a little flexion in the left jaw, so I just picked up that rein, release it, pick it up. So the horse finds his balance, and he stops trying to balance on the rein. Like that! That, 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 that. <laughs> that is cheating. I got you in the right place and you just quit. You can't do that. Like that, like that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Excellent. Very good. Like that. Excellent. Bravo. So he's not so squirrely. I can stay on a straight line. Excellent. Bravo. Excellent. More between the legs. Watch the right hip. Watch the right hip. Push that hip up. And oh, into the right hind. Excellent. Very, very good. That was super. Take a break. Very nice. Very good boy, huh? Very good. So if I can get him more consistently straight like that between the aids with less work, then I will be ready for the canner with him. But I'm not asking the canner till I feel I have a good proper connection in the lower back and the haunch. I love touching horses back there. Get them used to it. Huh? It's good for young horses to have you do some things they don't expect. So they get used to things. Good boy. Alright. Let's do a little work on the square. 
X and the drop. I like to work on the square because it helps to put a little pressure on in the corners. The horse has to learn there to work the corner correctly. And then it also helps to teach the aid to the inside hind like that, see? But it also releases the horse in between the corners. So he goes straight there. Up, up, up. Good. So he's looking for my hands to tell him everything. My hands have subtle aids, but not as much as he's thinking I should give him. Excellent. Good boy. Turn our turn away. Okay, now the square this way. Very good. Square is a very versatile tool. You can do shoulder ends when the horse is more advanced on the straight side. I like to use it for transitions as well. Teach your horse to transition straight between the aids and forward. When you come into the corner of the square and you ask for the transition, especially facing the rail, the horse has to transition and he often wants to wiggle the transition. Excellent. And so by teaching he has to transition straight facing the rail like that, like that. Ah, ah. There. Good. And I do have my outer rail set here on purpose for the green horse. Excellent. That's it. That's it. Good. Ah. Good. A little wormy there. A little squirm like a worm, huh? Yeah. So you got to push this hand. Yeah. And you turn the shoulder. Like that. Good. Like that. So he was thinking through how to do that corner. And I didn't increase or tighten or strengthen the aids because I wanted the horse to feel in his body that connection. Like there. Good. And then let him find it. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 we're not dodging. So he wanted to dodge to the right. He's like, how about if we circle right here? There's a hole. And I said, nope, let's just face it up. So it's a bit different for the young horse to say, hey, we're just going to transition there. We're not going to. Good. And then he thought he was going to need to back up there. And I pushed him forward like that. Now he's doing the square turn better. Oh, good. Uh, uh, stay forward, stay forward. Okay. And you want to make sure you're walking the horse in your leg aids forward. That's it, like that, like that. And halt into the right hind. And then turn the left shoulder. Pressure on the right hind. Come on forward. There you go. So this way the horse is finding forward. He's coming through his back. And he opens his chest in the turn. As he puts pressure into the hind. Excellent, excellent. I want him to do it on a long rein like he's doing it. With more rein, I'd like him to do it with less rein. So it's not about the reins, it's about my A's. And that's important for me coming back into shape that I don't cheat and swing my horse around by his nose. Very easy to do. Walk up. Excellent. And then put my weight, use my thigh, push my horse forward, there. Excellent, very nice. And use my weight, hold on a little more. Okay, now I'm going to change my weight to the left so he knows we're turning left this time. That's it, that's it. like that, like that, like that. That's it, good, straight, that's good. So I straightened him up. He fell on that left shoulder. There. Good. Good. Now I'm getting forward. Aha, on the right hand. On the left hind and off the right shoulder. There we go. That's it. Good. Good. Jingle the right rein. Push the left. That's it. Good boy. 
That's her fault. Very good. Very good. So he halted really nice off my seat. Very good. And he's stretching down. I'm going to allow that. I want the horse to feel that relief. Good boy. He's green. He's young. He should feel that as a reward. That was a nice transition. Good. Good boy. All right. Let's just walk on a loose rein for a bit. Okay. Walk up. So he's a very giving horse with an amazing personality, Cassius. He's a good boy. And you don't want to take away from him by abusing his generosity in nature and overdo your requests. It's really complicated not to do that on a horse that's so giving. And so it's important to think, hey, I did quite a nice piece there. That horse gave me an adult horse response. And I want him to feel the reward for acting like such a big horse. Good boy, Cash, huh? Good boy. Very nice. So I'm very, very pleased with our workout so far. That's a good boy, huh? Do a nice little diagonal. Good. So he's coming up from behind. He's happy. He's loose. He's relaxed. I'm going to start teaching him the aids alternating the leg when we're on the long parts. Alternate. Just a little nudge with my calf. And there again. Turn on the haunch a bit. Straighten up for a turn there like that. Good. So he wants to come more with the haunches. Now I'm going to shorten a bit the front end. Get that nice long, good stride coming into the bridle. Good. Get the horse to be forward. Ah, nice. Not leaning. There we go. Up more. That's it. Excellent. Alternating leg aid. That's it. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So I'm starting to pick up the horse a little. There we go, because he's getting too heavy up front. Up, 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 up. And he does that when he gets tired. So we know we have to end up our workout a little bit. There, like that, like that. There you go. That's it. Good. Now I'll release him into a trot. Posting. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Easy horse response there. So I'm shifting my weight to the outside stirrup so the horse knows and he doesn't fall in. And he's falling in, but I'm helping him to whip and push the punch through like that. Excellent. Push the hip, push the hip. No, no crash. There, like that. Good. Good. Oh, he says, that the camera, Mom? We can't go over the camera. And over. Okay, you're stuck on that left leg. I want you off of it. That's it, like that. Good, now walk over the pole. Lift your feet. Let's do a little lifting of feet. Also, don't feel like I should carry a horse over a pole. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Huh? Excellent. So I'm pushing the haunches forward with the whips. 
so he remembers it's about the hips, it's about the hips, it's about the hips. There, like that. Good job. All right, kind of twisty in the back. Let's fix that. Ah, look, there, there, like that. Excellent, like that. Up, up, the outside. There, like that. Step to the outside. Push it in. Like that. It's nice. Excellent. He ended up in an up position. You are done. What a good boy. Excellent. What a superstar. I love you. You are an amazing ride. Oh, all horses started this easy. We would never need to think a green horse was a tough start, huh? Thing to start. You're the easiest horse to start. You are such a good boy, huh? Such a good boy. Excellent. Mm hmm. Yes. Very good. That was very pleasing, Cash. All right, uh, da, 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 da. you got way too much leading time on the left while you were away. A bit goofy about that, you are. Gotta lead from the right. Really important to always lead your horses from opposite sides.